So the day we went and picked up the Wee Row, there were two things that we did. One, we made reserva reservations at a campground. The other, we ordered an awning. We got our brackets in, we got the screen in, but we're still waiting for the awning. And we're waiting. Still waiting. we bought our Wii Roll, we knew there were certain things we wanted to do to it. We discussed creating storage in the front and then in the back where the double doors are, we discussed putting a galley there to store most of our kitchen utensils and our dry goods. And then after giving it some more thought, we decided that we wanted to put an awning on the passenger side. Within a week after placing our order, we had the screen room, we had the brackets, but we didn't get the awning. Another week went by, and they eventually canceled our order saying it was out of stock. After several weeks of looking, we finally found another awning. We ordered it. A few weeks later, we were excited to see that it was out for delivery. After three days, it was still out for delivery. We canceled that order. And now we're waiting yet again for a provider to send us the ARB on it. <gasps> it's here. Good morning campers. Today we're discussing the ARB bracket that we bought to mount our ARB awning to our We Roll Adventure trailer. Like anything we've ever purchased from ARB, it is well made, it's heavy duty, but it's also causing us some distress trying to mount this to the bars on the We Roll. And I thought I'd discuss that, uh, give you maybe a more detailed look at the dimensions of it. We're going to tape measure here. Uh, the bottom part has three mounting holes. This is made to be mounted to a flat surface. And it is approximately six and a quarter inches long. It is two inches wide. Again, it has three holes. It's got, you might be able to see it better from the side or the back. It has these gussets that are welded. Again, it's heavy duty. The fact that it does flare out, you can see it here, it goes from an inch and a half, at, or I'm sorry, two inches at the bottom, and at this point it becomes closer to three and three eighths, and then it's three and three eighths here at the top. This flare, this gusset, is not allowing it to mount it the way I wanted to, and originally, uh, these three slotted holes are made to mount and fit the groove in the back of the ARB awning. The uh, aluminum rail on it. It come with the bolts to mount to this bracket. I, I didn't see a bracket in the awning, but we had already purchased this because it, we knew it was more heavy duty. Uh, we'll go outside in just a moment. 
we'll set this bracket up on the roof rack that came with our we roll and you'll be able to tell the difficulty we're having mounting it okay let's go outside one of the challenges that we're encountering is we want the we roll with the arb awning on it to be able to come go in and out of our garage we want to store the we roll in the garage and our limiting factor is the height of our garage opening. And as you can see here, we've got about 82 and a half inches from the garage floor to the door opening. Okay, as we saw, our limiting factor on the garage door height is 82 and a half inches. We, the first thing we did was we perfectly leveled the wheel rail. It's level north-south level east west. We know we're dealing with a level camper. And if we put our level on top of the factory bar, make sure that it is level, we've got about 78 and a quarter inches. Okay. 78 and a quarter inches to the top of the factory roof rack bar. And 82 and a half inches is our door. Don't have a lot of room to play with. Just level out of the way. I'm not going to need that now. If we were to simply try to mount this on top, like so, again, we're at 78, we've got 82. This is going to be more like real close to 83. And the ARB awning actually sticks up a little bit higher than this. There's no, if we mounted it strictly in this manner, there's, it wouldn't go in and out the garage door. Okay. The next thing I thought about doing was possibly flipping it over. Uh, but as you can see, maybe you can't see, but here's one of the mounting holes. It would work. Here's the other mounting hole. It doesn't work really well. It's more in this angle part and in that well. The third mounting hole is just out here in the space. You can't really hold it to anything. And not only that, the bolt holes that we're supposed to use to mount the awning to this bracket are now being covered up by the factory bracket. This doesn't work either. There's just, there's only one way to secure it, and then you can't bolt the ARB awning to it. We had to come up with another solution. That didn't go as planned. I realized the ARB bracket here was two inches. The bar, the stock bar that I bought is an inch by inch. I knew I was gonna come up with a spacer, but then there's this gusset to deal with. And not only that, trying to get it as low as we can here and, and not touch the top of the wee roll, we're still gonna be sticking up pretty high. Um, so it's back to the drawing board. We're going to, have to do something different, but this was the first iteration and it really doesn't do what I thought it was going to. I've got another idea. I'm going to try that. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully that'll allow us. I want this to be as low as possible and also be flush with the side of the Wii row. Let's try something else. Okay, campers, this is what inevitably we ended up doing. Again, we tried multiple options. This is the lowest we could get it. So remember, it's gotta go out our garage door over here. This is the lowest we could get it and then still get it tight up against the wee roll, the side of the wee roll. I ended up cutting off that big long bar, uh, drilling another hole over here. I've got uh, grade five hardware and I ended up flipping the bracket upside down, basically, and that's what we did. As we've said before, there's other solutions, I'm sure. This 
is not the only solution, but to meet all our criteria, this is what we ended up doing. Okay. I've been scolded for not looking at the camera. Hey, everyone. Hello, campers. We're back. <laughs> I've been in trouble. I've been bad. We're actually out camping this weekend, so we're having a good time. Yes, we are. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, we finally have this. You can bleep it out. ARB awning on the Wii roll. <laughs> It has been such a pain getting this awning on the Wii roll. <laughs> but uh, I think in all, it's going to be worth it. Uh, Loretta's going to do a little walk around here and give you guys an idea what it looks like attached to the Wii roll. Okay. This is the, um, this room, we can do many things with it. It could be a changing room. It can be uh, another room. We could put a bed in there for someone else if they want to sleep. Um, if it rains, we have a place to get out of the weather because you guys know everywhere we go, it comes a storm. Um, let's see here. Let me go back here. It's a pretty good size. Like we said, it's eight by eight. Has little attaches to the poles to keep it connected we also have another spot back here that we can open these windows and it has another door I'll let mark show you yeah, <clears throat> so the it can just be a door here i believe yeah so it has two doors yeah. so one can, on each side or you can as they say in australia undo the zips yeah, We've that's watched cool. several videos on this, and they're mostly from Australia. And that is known as zips. But you can unzip all of this, roll it up, and then you just got the mesh. All the way around. And then it becomes a screen room, a setting room, uh, an extension of your living room. Wow. Okay. Uh, fits nicely, too, to the Wii Roll. You guys know we had a hard time trying to get the brackets to fit on top but it we have it working now as you can see um let me step back so you see how big it is it's nice yeah. we yeah. like it i mean those brackets were to try to accomplish everything we wanted to accomplish those brackets were a bit of a pain but anyway we we've got it on there this is not to say this is the only way to mount this. It just what it worked best for our limitations, the things we wanted to do to be able to get it in and out of the garage. Thank you all for following along with us. Yeah, it's been quite the journey. This is honestly one of the longer real-time videos we've done. This video has been in the works for a, while. a month, if not longer. Yeah. It's, it's been a while to get to this point. It seems like lately everything has with 2021, mm -hmm. COVID and delays. And, yep. But we appreciate y'all sticking in here with us. Yes, we thank do you have guys. It up. We I think we're going to enjoy all. using it. It's going to get easier to use. It's, it's just taking us a while to get here. It is. All right. Well, but, uh, or it did. <laughs> it did. Well, tonight's going to be our first night using it while we count. Yep. 
Uh, hopefully it's going to do everything we want it to. We'll uh, give you an update in a week or two, or we're going to go on a few more camping trips soon. We'll keep you informed as we go along. Yes. Again, thank you for sticking with us this long. Yes, this, thank you all. Watching this video, seeing our pain and suffering. We appreciate on this one. each and every one of you guys. Yes. Uh, if you, it's Parker, the little garage munchkin or minion, and Aubrey, the garage munchkin, they're not here with us this weekend, but as they would say, give us a like, give us a thumbs, thumbs up, up. Mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Come here, Parker. <laughs> yes, okay. the garage much here. Two thumbs up and like this video. To Mimi and Papa. <laughs> Thank you.